Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. In today's video I'm going to be showing you this legendary motherboard that I'm showing you right now and we're going to do some really nice tunings on it because we're going to try and insert Xeon CPU inside it. And you might think, is that even possible? Well, let's check it out. Okay, so first of all, let's start off with removing the old CPU that was still on the motherboard. I know that this one is working, but as you can see, we also needed to open two levers, one on each side to get the CPU out of the socket. So this is an LGA2011 socket and it's really a CPU that is one and a half times bigger than your regular LGA1151, for example. So this one was an i7-4820K and it had a really decent score on Passmark of about 9733. And that is quite okay, it's a little bit comparable to my 6700K that is currently on my system. Uh, that one has a score of about 11110. So now that we're gonna remove the old one, we have to insert a new one of course. And that's going to be the Xeon E52667 V2. It is running on 3.3 gigahertz, but when you boost it, it's going to go all the way to 3.8 or even 4 gigahertz. And that is really good. So this CPU has a score of 16,174. And that is a huge improvement on a workstation like this, because also my i7 only has four cores and running 11,000 on the score, but this one has eight cores inside it. So that is just absolutely crazy on how much cores it has. So you can do a lot of multitasking on this system. So let's insert this Xeon inside in the CPU socket and install the RAM. Okay, so for the RAM, we have 32 gigabytes, eight times four, uh, DDR3, 2400 megahertz, Dominator Platinum RAM from Corsair. YouTube didn't pay us enough to buy 64, unfortunately. It will have to wait. It'll come there one day. Okay, so this motherboard can support up to 128 gigs of DDR3 RAM. But we're only going for 64 because I thought like, yeah, it's just a little bit overkill if you're going for 128. And also, that will cost me about $2,000. That's quite expensive. Okay, so now that the Xeon and the DDR3 RAM is on its place, we're gonna install the water cooling and the power supply parts with all the cabling, and then we're gonna fire up the computer, or table computer? Yeah, it's a table computer right now. So we're gonna fire up the table computer after I showed you how it's built.
Okay, after installing all the cables, the CPU, the RAM and a graphics card, we can finally fire up this baby and see if it's actually working. So, I would say... See you guys, and no, I'm just kidding, we're just gonna fire it up. Okay, so now we know that the Xeon has been recognized by Windows. We can continue on with the project and get a really amazing 2018. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today. Make sure to leave a like and support the channel at the same time. So see you guys in the next one.